The Terriers welcome the Lehigh Mountain Hawks to the roof on Saturday afternoon. The number one three-point shooting team in the country showed off their inside game early on as Lehigh featured James Karnick for eight first half points. For the Terriers, Andrew Petcash got his first career start in place of the injured Javante McCoy and took full advantage of it. He scored 11 points in a single stretch in the first half to give BU a lead. The Mountain Hawks would take over the rest of the first half, starting with a 10-0 spurt and ending with his Jordan Cohen three just as the first half expired. Lehigh led it going into the locker room 45 to 32. In the second half, Lance Tejada got going from the outside as he finished with 17 points, 10 of them coming in the second half. Lehigh built a 19-point lead midway through the second stanza, but the Terriers would chip away at it. It started with Max Mahoney, who finished with 17 points. BU had a chance to take the lead with this look by Andrew Petcash with just 11 seconds left, but it missed. The Terriers end up falling for the fourth straight game, 84 to 79. The Terriers dropped to 11 and 16 overall and 4 and 10 in Patriot League play. Five Terriers scored in double figures with Villarino scoring 12. Petcash and Jonas Harper each had 11 points. Back here at the roof for a final time as the Terriers fall to Lehigh 84 to 79. The final as the Terriers drop their fourth straight with assistant coach Mike Quinn. This second half was one that you kind of look at and pick apart. The last five minutes was certainly interesting. You've got to love the resiliency of your team coming all the way back from 19 down. Yeah, I love the scrappiness. I love the scrappiness. That's something we got to bottle and that's that's got to define us here moving forward. We've talked about execution down the stretch in games, and you look at the last three minutes, including that last shot by Andrew Petcash, that had to be the shot you wanted, and the team did execute to get a good shot. They did. They, and they did that on their own. You know, they, we knew they may come out in zone, so we gave them some options, uh, you know, whether it was zone or man. They read it. They moved the ball. They got a great look from the corner. That's something we'll take to win the game. And certainly as you go forward here now with four games left in the season, what are you hoping for in terms of looking at this and carrying that over, trying to get a couple wins down the stretch in conference play? I think, again, they, they get that scrappiness to them, but sometimes it takes us to get down. That's got to be us. That's got to define us. I loved how we competed in the second half. I love how we went after the glass in the second half. I loved how we shared it in the second half. <laughs>